Hey, what's up everybody? We are back here early doing some more near replicant. I need and uh yeah, so we're going to be doing the challenge dungeons right off the bat today. Uh, I think there's only one left that we need to do. So basically what I did is yesterday we beat the C ending and I saved that in a slot. So I just basically picked up from the C ending instead of Loading the save where we were on top of the Lost Shrine and having to run all the way back. So, once we complete this, we can exit out to the main screen and just reload the save and we'll be like right where we need to be to do the uh, D ending for today. So, that is the plan. The dire yeah. The Hopefully we can complete this son of a bitch. I just remembered I didn't check what all my... Damn it. Magic. Magic! Say that. Can you not hear me? Fuck, I forgot to check our magic. Why are you standing about like a slack jawed ninny? Sorry. Felt like I was dreaming or something. Ah, sleeping on one's feet is quite the talent indeed. Come now, there's the door. Right. Let's go. I don't know if that's the original voice actor from the PlayStation 3 game. But I think it'd be cool if it was, and they brought him back to uh, redo the voice lines. Alright, so... This is so bad, I'm an idiot. Okay, full HP restoration, that's good. The strength isn't bad, magic is... Magic is pretty low, so hopefully we won't have to rely on that. We're going to, we're gonna have to rely on that. God damn it! Ah! Alright. Hopefully we can make it through this, right? I'm giving us about an hour of trying this dungeon. And uh, if we can't make it through, then we just proceed forward. Alright, so this is the one that's on the dock, I believe. Yep. That was the wrong move. Uh, we need the meal. So we can start poisoning them. Damn it, I have bad timing with that. You know, now that I think about it, I could probably boost my strength in this first section to get through it way faster. There we go. All right. All right. I'm sorry. I'm just like really trying to focus on this because I do not want to mess any of these early stage. This early stage up.
God damn. <laughs> it's just like very unprecise with the swings. It's just like the huge arc. I can't remember what's after this. I think maybe... I think we fight one of those enemies where we have to, uh... Like, refrain from using a certain move. Like, it would say, like, don't use physical attack, don't use magic. I think? I don't know. There's been three... This is the third dungeon, so I might be mixing it up with one of the other ones. Alright, we should be done with this. Yep. Oh no, oh shit, there's still some more here. Alright, and then there are some heals in these crates, right? And we do get heals in between rounds, so that should be something I take into consideration. Check, 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 check. I wish the outfit change stayed with this big guy. Like, this is the model for the uh, other version of Nier, where you play as the father instead of the brother. Ah! Alright, this is the final boss. I mean, yeah, final boss for this around. And the rest of them aren't really that difficult. It was just kind of time consuming, especially the what I think was the last round where it was just like standing on the ledges, having to use a lot of magic. And interesting, it feels like the shield took a, more than more than the usual hits for physical attacks because this shield's pretty weak for physical. No, ah, damn it, wasted it. There we go. Yeah, obviously, do the old back souls tactic of standing behind them. Best way. Honestly, a lot of his moves are pretty readable, especially from behind, because he only does that backswing. So you just have to try to get the timing of that backswing down. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, hitting him, rushing into them with your shield on, I think actually does a bit of damage, too. Which is why that just happened. Uh, health solve. Okay, I think that's level 2 healing is what we're getting. So maybe I should focus on trying to use that one more. 
Full of shaman, full of shaman, full of shaman, full of shaman. Vessel? I wish it had a question mark at the end of it. Oh yeah, this round. This one was pretty easy. But again, yeah, a lot of little dudes pop up here. And again, it's like a lot of physical damage. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. Then do this for the poison. Uh oh. All right, one piggy down. Luckily, these little guys are physical damage and not magic, because having a lot of magic dudes around... Actually, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe if they were all magic, it might be easier, just because the shield could take them out. Or the shield could, like, block a lot of it. Yeah, I believe I get three solves every time I complete, so... Plus, these guys are just throwing this low-level medical heal at me as well, so might as well just use that up as much as possible. Oop. Ooh. I don't know, I'm pretty sure that it's just a set wave of enemies. Yeah, it's not dependent on you having to kill the three pigs. Or boars. Nice, all right. That is probably one of the easiest ones. And then, boom, three healing solves. I think I only used two of those higher level ones because we were just getting all those low level drops. Ooh, all right. Oh, fuck, this, okay. Uh, this one wasn't hard, it was just kind of weird. Because this far out perspective I was not comfortable with. Yeah, this one I just had to do a lot of running back and forth. Just because there's just so many enemies.
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh yeah, strength boost makes this a cakewalk. Yeah, it's just there's way there's way too many like medical drops here for this to actually be difficult. You just have to make sure you are you just keep healing. And then this is a bridge, I believe. What? Did that just say Eagle Egg? That is one of the uh, harder to get items in this game, and it's for leveling up the uh, Phoenix weapons. I think there's only one place that you can actually get the Eagle Egg. So getting one here is uh, pretty good luck. Alright, it's a bit darker in here, so it's kind of hard to see their swings. Damn it. I thought he was going to swing around his head one more time. Gotta get these guys poisoned up as well.
There we go. All right. All right. He dropped a healing salve, so I'll pop one of those. I think there might be another round after these guys. Crap. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, that's it. Then I think that was the third solve. Five? Okay, so I could have used more. Oh, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna drink myself by saying we're actually doing pretty good right now. Okay, this one. Alright, I thought this was it. This is the second to last, I believe. This is the second to last one. Yeah, this is actually quite... I think this might be quite a l lengthy one. Probably do these sites just to get some poison going since we have so many. Oh, yeah, don't forget our uh, sword has a uh, has that drain on it, so we do get a bit of HP back. Oh. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, these guys. I can't remember if uh, there are any enemies that spawn here that do a lot of magic damage. But yeah, I just remember those base guys and then these big dudes starting to pop up in here. God, they are so well armored. Yeah, these are probably one of my least favorite enemies to fight.
That is not good. Solve. Yeah, well, I'm on, uh, right now I'm on, uh, I think this is the fourth playthrough, technically. So I have had plenty of time to get my butt kicked and, uh, try to figure out good timing for these guys. Yeah, I just can't figure out good timing for these guys to block these guys, so I just usually dodge out of the way. Ah! That's not good. I got lucky with that overhead smash that he just did. I totally should have gotten hit by that. Alright, there we go. Oh, there it is. Okay, magic boys. Then we're almost done with this because um, the spawns slowly make their way down this corridor. So once you reach the other side, that's like the end of the uh, end of the battle. So we're like over halfway there. Finished up with this. Whoop. Put on our blades, which I have poison on. So that definitely helps putting poison on your stuff. So just does that little chip damage, but that really builds up over time. Especially for these heavily armored enemies. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Thank god they put this little cube in the center. <laughs> Gotta take out Magic Boy first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Alright, that was dangerous. I was playing, uh... Too sloppy right there. I need to fall back. Luckily, these guys are pretty easy to read. So it's a lot easier to get in the uh, block and counter. Alright, next round. More magic boys. And we're gonna put on a strength boost. So we can just take some of these boys out faster. Yeah, this is the point where you really want to watch your shield very carefully. As soon as it starts flashing, just fall back. Yep, like that, like that. Oh, crap. Alright, reapply. Yeah, and I don't know how many challenge dungeons there are. This is the third one, so I'm, I'm thinking this is the last one that we need to do. And just, I am so happy that I leveled up this weapon as early as I did, because it's made this game way easier. I mean, the weapon we have on does 999 damage, and it still takes quite a bit of time to defeat some enemies. So it's just like, it's ridiculous how much health or armor a lot of these enemies actually have. Although, again, we're on a hard difficulty, 
So, kind of screwed myself there by doing that, but uh, I didn't think they would be as spongy as they are. Alright, these guys, I just kind of want to do a lot of like single slashes and dodge out of the way. And just leave a lot of the damage done with my uh, sights with poison. And in fact, uh, for this round specifically, we're going to take off our shield and replace it with... Should I do Dark Blast? Okay, we're going to use Dark Blast. We'll pop on our scythes every so often just to reapply poison, but... We'll do most of our damage with this. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, I took my eyes off the other guy. It's weird having Dark Blast on L1. I usually have it on uh, R1. Do our scythes. Nope. God damn it. Still can't. I was seeing if I could get lucky with the block. But yeah, I need to play careful. I made it all the way to the final room in this dungeon, and I'm pretty sure I was on the final guy I needed to fight last time I did this, and I died just being one-shotted. And he was like, barely any health, and it's just like, I got too cocky. There we go. Eh, uh, yes. That poison builds up. Pretty quick. Okay, okay, it's the big boss guy down there. Uh, we're gonna put our shield back on. Alright, and I'm gonna do another strength boost. Okay, I got lucky there. No! Oh, ooh, buddy. I'm so lucky I'm so high level because those would have one-shotted me. <laughs> if I wasn't. Alright, there we go. Get back on. Yeah, this guy's actually, I'd say, out of most of the larger enemies, this guy's probably... Won't the easiest? At least for me, I feel like he is. Okay. Now I, th now I think this round we're coming into is the abridge, which is the final one. I think. This is the only dungeon I haven't beaten, so...
Oh god. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, I didn't know what would happen if I fell off the edge. Good to know. But holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, I almost had a heart attack. Yeah, last time I played this, I never fell off any of the edges. So it's like shit, man. All right, okay, this is the one with that little ass guy over there. Annoying, shooting magic at us. Yeah, I feel like this one is definitely one of the more slower rounds because I definitely leave a lot of the damage up to the poison. Oh God. I'm just kind of running back and forth. Honestly, since we're so deep in, I think I'll put this on. They're all about halfway, so that's good. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't want to risk it. Or that biscuit. Oh god. Yep, just running back and forth. Back and forth. Alright, there we go. We are down to a lot more manageable stuff. I say that, yet I still get hit. Alright. <laughs> Switch to, uh, let's see here. Lance, and I think I'm going to change up what we have on Lance. I think I'm going to put poison on it. This has actually got pretty good range. I don't really use uh, Lance that much. So today I uh, plan on doing the D ending 
which is the one that wipes out all your save data. So I'm really hoping that at least like the outfits get saved. Means I want to try to go for the E ending next weekend. Gonna wait for our MP to come back a bit more. That was dumb. Don't know why I did that. All right. Uh, I believe when we go down, it's there's that giant. There's the a big flying enemy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. That, uh, since you have to be at, like, the main menu to do the outfits, that it would probably not count. Alright. There's the flying magic enemy. So maybe I'll put wall on, and then change this to lance. I just hate dropping, because it always makes me feel like I'm gonna miss. <laughs> That was the wrong button. Uh... Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Ah! Oh god. Let's just wall platform. This is what panic attacks are made of. Oh god. Let me redo the shield. Oh, I see that the only guy left now. Nope. Oh crap! That I forgot. He has that shield on. I haven't found the best way to handle this guy yet. All right. Looks like poison is affecting him. Even though the lances are hitting his barrier, for the most part. All right. All right. Luckily, the shield does not take a lot of MP to do. Trying to let it build back up before I go attacking again. Yep. Reapply the shield. Yeah, this one's really weird. It's just like kind of waiting for him to uh, bleed out here from the uh, poison. Ah! Oh god. Yes! Goodbye. Alright. I don't remember ever getting this one. The red moonflower. Oh, oh yeah, that was uh, when we planted, did all that planting stuff. The weird farming mechanic, which 
There's only one- I've only found one mission that actually requires you to do any kind of farming. Uh, and it's weird that there's no magical item to restore your MP. At least I find it kind of weird. Um, Alright, we'll do that. And when I drop down, I'll do physical- I'll boost our physical resistance, as well as put on our shield. And yeah, I need to figure out, um, when one of the big enemies come out, they do like this wind slash. I don't know if that counts as physical or magic. I need to figure that out too. Okay. Come on, MP. Right, that should be good enough. Alright, actually, I don't know how effective they are at piercing these big boys. Oh, pretty effective. But it uses up a lot of MP. Nope, that's bad. Field. Um... I'm going to change this back to Scythe. Uh, it does a lot slower damage, but I just feel more comfortable with it on. But just because it doesn't use up as much MP as like Lance does, even though Lance is more effective. Uh, then uh, also... I'm stuck. <gasps> okay, 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 we're good. We're good, we're good. Alright, gonna kinda waste that, but might as well. Alright, he's over halfway done. Crap. Alright, alright, one down. Two to go, I believe. Alright, and then this boy is easy. Um, let's do strength boost. Oh god, alright, I freaked myself out on that one. Oh, so easy, that one. Now here comes the a-hole that I keep dying to when I play this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna just try to play a bit more cautiously here. <sighs> Those swingy arms, boy. Huh. It's ironic I died to this one because we fought him in the first round. not too much of a problem. Yeah, I'm thinking that those are magic based because the shield seems to absorb them no problem. Oh god. Okay, okay. Sweet. Man, only gaining a couple of levels really helps. 
because before he would like smash right through the shield with one shot. Now we can at least take a couple of hits from him. I hate how he swings his arms so widely. It just feels like you can get stuck on him and he can like accidentally nudge you off the platform. All right. I'm assuming once we complete this, we're gonna get a third outfit set and I cannot wait to see what it is. Because we already have the, uh, the samurai and the shibuki. Right, I'm playing way too aggressive. I'm going to fall back. Buy my shield. Yeah, I'm playing super cautious because this is where I got him down before and he just got a lucky shot in on me. Oh god, there's another one. No! Alright. Good to know, good to know. I have never seen this guy before. Holy shit. This looks like a new type for me. I don't recall coming across cannon face. Oh god. <gasps> I hate my life so much. God damn it. God damn it. It's still one-shotting me. All right. God. I thought I could have taken one hit at least. Ah. I know. I totally fucked myself again on that. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna look this up to find out if um, what level I'm playing on affects the dungeons or if they're like a separate thing entirely. Because I know some games, like the challenge dungeons, are like their own level set. Separate from whatever you have the game set on. Challenge dungeon. Alright, let's see. Right. Challenge dungeons. Difficulty. I can't find anything specific to the challenge dungeons and their difficulty setting. Alright, let's see here. Something wrong? I feel as if I've just I know what you mean. Really? It feels like a horrible nightmare that we keep screwing up on the final boss. Man. Got so far. God damn it. So close. I'll get it eventually, I know. Probably. It's just that we're going to be doing the DND, which clears all our save data, which means it's going to be a while before we get back up to this level. Ah. Budge. Hmm. 
Okay, I found the wiki on it, and I'm trying to figure out... What up with that? Okay, so the third door is the final door. Oh, it was originally DLC. I did not know that. Actually, um, let me see. I don't know if we actually keep any of the things we pick up, because there were a few random items we did get that weren't, like, healing items. Uh, oh, that's quests, items, here we go. Where would the eggs be? Because I believe we actually found an eagle egg randomly. Alright, eggs, eggs. Eagle? Alright, sweet, we did keep it. Uh, giant egg, eagle egg, chicken egg. Um, black pearl. I only have two. Damn it. I need like ten black pearls to level up the uh, Phoenix Buster Sword as well as the uh, regular sword. Actually, hold on, let me check. On what our weapon levels are at right now. Pretty sure. Phoenix Sword. Oh. I just need a giant egg for this one. Okay, I didn't realize I was so low on this one. I thought we needed the black pearl on that one. And then the standard sword. The one that we need. Yeah, the black pearl. Dang it. Alright. This is going to be useless because it's going to get erased, but... Whatever. I'm gonna save it anyway. Alright, and then we're gonna do our little, uh, cheat. And, uh... Exit out. To the main menu. Because yesterday when we did the C ending, I saved before going into the boss fight. So we're just gonna basically replay that. And do the D ending instead of the C ending. And then, uh, yeah, after I get the D ending, that will probably be it for today. And then next weekend, we will start our new save and work towards the E ending, which I know next to nothing about other than you have to start it from a fresh save. All right. Let's actually put on the spear for a little bit. Such an ominous sight, and yet I find it strangely nostalgic. Yeah. And now, the path is open. All right, right now we're at about an hour and six minutes into the stream, so let's see how long this takes us. I should have tried to time it yesterday. I think this whole, like, final section takes about an hour, maybe? Although, I'm gonna try to skip through all the dialogue, because we've already heard all of this before. I 
Bitty skip. To whom does the true voice speak? To you, it is uh, what the heck? Here, uh, uh, to who do I uh, why do you? Uh, I how can you? I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, that you, you, well then, it seems the way is open. I want that, my head cannon is that voice comes from one of those pigeons. <laughs> it's the guard pigeon. Asking you the sacred questions. What? Surprising heel turn. Hey, this is even oh, Actually, I've never selected this, so let's try that. They're right. Do you truly? No. Okay, so I guess maybe that's your out if you didn't know this was going to be like the ending. Or you do uh, back out, I guess. What are you two doing here? I'm not going to answer that. Cool, big surprise. What are you two doing? Here? I'm not going to. Oh, damn it. We're here. No, no. All right, let's do this. We didn't want to fight you. We really. Really didn't want to. We're just choosing to right now. Devil, what's happening? Sorry, but this fate was predetermined. Still, we spoke to truth. We really wanted to avoid this if possible. We were hoping to put it off for a hundred years or so. Until the next generation came along. What are you talking about? Are they shades? I don't think so. It's a lie. I don't believe it. Kill them. <laughs> Kill them, you glorious bastards. Kill them all. <laughs> you never thought you'd grow to be this powerful. This is madness. Why do you block our path? You have no cause to speak so with us, Grimoire Vice. You are a traitor. Sealed verses. Of course we can. The power came from us in the first place. You were simply loaned a small portion of it. Guys, are you all right? Double, Popola, Popola, why are you guys doing this? Why are you siding with the shades? Oh my god, come on. Bro. I'm pretty sure this is usually a fight. <laughs> there we go. Maybe I just kept hitting them when they were in that cycle, so they just kept on teleporting. I had to give them a minute. got me. Uh, 
All right, there we go. Moving on. <laughs> Bye, best buddy. Definitely. Why must you betray me? Fighting. Yes, they do seem to be putting us through a great deal of... <laughs> you okay, Vice? How odd. For long years, my mind and tongue have been my greatest assets. But now the latter seems to be... <laughs> well... Vice? Do not look at me like that. I am Grimoire Vice. I am Hope Wolf. I have a broken intercom. I think I hear a waltz. How do you even know what a waltz sounds like? Do we even have record players? Alright, so yeah, the ballroom. It certainly is a grand affair. I'd say the ballroom is probably the most time consuming room we go into. I can't remember what I have on the spear. I think I might have armor piercing or something on it. I think we're locked in. It's not like I was planning to leave. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit late for that. All right, um, I think I'm going to go plants, and we're going to put the poison on it. Since this is a separate save file, we're going to have to reapply it via words. I'm going to crank that up to level 9. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. All right, sorry. Weird. Yeah, I feel like the spear actually does more damage when it does a block counter. Yeah, that does so much damage. That's like almost half their health. Uh, 
Ah, that's always the roll. Wait, what? Oh, don't think so, buddy. They're swarming. Good lord. Thank god they go into like slow motion whenever you're doing casting. Oh my god! Dodge! Dodge to save your life, boy! Yes! I take the damn door open. I'm sorry, I'm really quiet now. It's just like I've really just tried to focus on this. No. I know we've done this before and like this shouldn't be that difficult compared to yesterday when we did it. it but I just really want to get through this so we'll be able to um, do the E ending next week. I'm just like a bit paranoid. It's like somehow I'm going to mess this up because I messed up that dungeon. <laughs> Okay, we're already 20 minutes in. But yeah, this room just takes so much time to get through. They should. Oh my god, look at that. What's wrong? <laughs> right, let's uh see what how the katana does. You haven't used a standard sword in a very long time. 
Forgiveness, asshole. Kaine? Wait a second. Wait a second. Your heart is different. It ain't hatred. And it ain't sadness. What's going on is... Ah, damn. How should I know? Kaine, are you alright? I'm fine. Let's just kill some shit and move Man. on. I've said this before, but I really hate the story fights in this game. Just because they keep you from actually doing the fight when you're in the middle of the fight. Like, let me do damage to this guy, irregardless of whether or not you're talking. Because it's like, whenever there's a story beat in the middle of the fight, it always messes up the rhythm of the fight. I don't need to spend a whole minute just avoiding the fight. Because I literally can't do damage to him because there's a story beat happening in the middle of it. That's like probably one of the big parts of this game that I hate. That I do not like. Yeah, magic just does not work on him. Ah, oh, that was terrible timing for me. I always get anxious when I'm doing that and I'm just using the uh, Buster Sword for it. He always feels like I'm running out of time way faster. Oh dear. I think so, buddy. Nah. I'm getting steamrolled by a freaking ton of bacon. Oh. I wonder how many reoccurring enemies there are in uh, Nier Automata. Like, are we gonna have to fight giant boars in armor? Because, like, I played, like, maybe an hour or two of Automata, so it was just, like, the literal, like, opening area. And I don't really remember the enemies from it, but I don't recall them being too difficult in terms of, like, having armor and stuff on. Damn it. But I don't even know if I even reached, like, level 10 or anything like that. And then it was, like, just where you put a game on the back burner because another game comes out, and then you kind of just, like, lose track of it. Damn it. 
it. Stay focused, Kaine. Don't fall victim to such distractions. Come on! We have to keep going! Let's go! This way! Move! And then again, we just need to stay, like, close to the railing, and then there's only two obstacles we need to dodge. And then, uh, we fight the four again. For the third time. And then we do the Popola fight, I believe, after that. Crap, crap, crap. Ah! No, I'm not on the railing. Railing, railing, railing. Yep. Alright, I don't know if I have to fight it one more or two more times. I can never remember. I think it's one more solo. And then with the king. So it's like you fight this freaking boar four times. It's ridiculous. Whoop. Oh wow, we got a lot. I used a lot of this on uh, the final fight, I guess. Yep. God, this boar fight sucks. Realizing that isn't going to help. It's too late for us now. It's too late for everything. We're too far gone, you and me. That's why we. Okay, I was wrong. We have to defeat it two times and then the king comes in here. There we go. Gaddy. What the hell? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he does that. Yeah. Whenever it does that little uh uh green poison mist around it, that's usually like the sign that it's about to move on. Well, that it is. It is the sign that we're about to move on. Is <laughs> what are you doing here? Saluri to Shita to Kaizam to Kiro, Daro. If you are correct, yeah, Ara to the sunset. Glory, glory to the doors. Come, I thought I was about to do something else, right? There we go. 
open. Hey! Stop! Let me go! Stop it! Damn it! King, no! No! Open the door! You can't find that thing on your own! You cook it! Oh, Tauki! Arta! Vito! Kuto! Ko! Chi! Ida! I keep forgetting I could skip all this. <laughs> My friend. So I just looked up what the level cap for this game is, which is something I should have looked up a long time ago. It is level 99. So I don't even know why they do that. Because it's like literally so many of your enemies, by the time you get to like level, I don't know, 60, you'd probably be able to one shot most of them. Just because the amount of, like, strength increase in between levels is a lot. Unless that slows down a lot. Plus, run hard. So it's like, I'm assuming most of them would already started to be one-shotted by right now. Around level uh, 40 to 50. Yes. Oh look, we've been what? it him to you then. You always say that, but I never figure out how to actually access them. Vice My Mine. <laughs> All of what are you saying? You so not each crate with so please are you and us, we're the same tools in the hands of a master. No, I'm nothing like you. So I'm assuming... Well, actually, no, I shouldn't assume that. I was gonna say, I'm assuming Devil and Popola show up in the next one. Uh, I would think so? Because, like, it's unclear what they are, like... They're not human, so I'm assuming they could just be remade again. Because I do know there's some characters that carry over. And I... This song does sound... Some of the songs do sound familiar that have, like, they're singing in them. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Don't do this, Popola! You and Devola were like parents to me! Those two have watched the world wither from time immemorial. The cruelness of such a fate is difficult to imagine. I don't want to do this! I don't want to fight her! Stop bitching and start fighting! It's the only way! You're about to be done in rings, son. Yeah, I'd say over like over half of the uh, final boss area, in like at least what takes the longest, 
is definitely that ballroom and the boar fight is like half of this. And then the rest of it is just like the popola fights, then the corridor fights. As well as like, you know, the cutscenes and what. Did all that yesterday. So, you know, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but like, if you wanted to see all that, check out yesterday's stream, or the previous stream, which should all be over on my YouTube channel. Or on Twitch, depending on when you're watching this. I can't hit skip, or it's not even skip, there's like an auto function to this. Immediately, oh! Wake up. Please, wake Come on, Emil. You haven't changed a No, I'm just here to keep my promise. I told you I don't worry about Sorry, Emil. But you I'll always don't cry. I want you to promise that you'll live. I find it interesting that the sister has dialogue lines here, but then Emil doesn't. And actually, wait, now that I think about it, yesterday we uh, skipped the, uh, skipped the credits. And I don't think we ever saw the uh, post credit scene with Emil's head just kind of like bouncing around. Him realizing, oh, he's not dead. His body just kind of got scattered. At least I assume his head was still like intact and rolling around. But yeah, that didn't play yesterday. Unless I missed it by just hitting skip on the credits. Which, that is the worst, when there's like an end scene, and you want to skip the credits, and then it also skips the end scene as well. Alright, I'm probably going to use some strength in these upcoming rooms just to get to them quicker. Holy shit, we got a word! Hell yeah! We did not get that yesterday. Okay, attack power. Okay, I need to check all my shit to see what what thing has attack power on it. I don't know where attack power shows up. Attack power is in here. Oh wait, what's the spear have on? There we go. Let's see what kind of damage it does now that it's got the 30%.
Honestly, I'd say it's roughly the same as the Claymore now. That we were using. Which is hella good. That extra 10%. Which means if we put that 30% on the Claymore, it should be doing ungodly damage. Actually, let's see that. Um, let's remove Drain from the Claymore and put it that 30% on there. Really? Alright, so the secondary one. Put weekend on. Let's, uh, that. Alright, I'd say it's still roughly the same. Yep. This thing fucking wrecks house so bad. <laughs> So quick. <laughs> Alright, when we do this D ending, we are going to wait through the whole credits. Just in case there's something at the end. And I don't know. Um, I don't know if I ended up skipping something yesterday at the end of the credits or not. But who knows, maybe that cutscene is only for the B ending. I know not. Stand against the Shadow Lord. Don't speak in such a manner, fool. I am nothing like Every you. time he talks, it's just so edgelord. I'm the Shadow Lord. Oh yeah. It's kinda like Duff oh my god, it's Duff Man from The Simpsons. That's what it reminds me of. If Duff Man was trying to be an edgelord. What? Not happening. No. Impossible. Look, burner. We fucking destroyed it. I think it's because we did it so quick. Look. Damn it again. It's just a bunch of white What the hell's going on? Vice, 
My God. There we go. God, so much of that is just waiting for them to stop talking. And I totally wasted a strength boost on it. Oh god, health. Holy hell. <laughs> Come on! Oh my god, Claymore, you bastard! Oh my god. <laughs> like, one of the swings just takes a long time to recover from. Good lord. <laughs> Alright, we got him. Yeah, this is probably my favorite costume for him so far. I really like his hair like that. Like, it looks good with white, but that color is a nice variant. Kai! Watch over Yoda for me! You want me to understand your sadness? You think I'm gonna sympathize with you? Just because you're doing anything to bring your sister back? Kind of like me trying to bring my sister back? I don't think so. I'm completely irrational. Just like you. Now come on! Let's finish this! Alright, that's it. We're doing this. Yep. There we go. You're freaking me out here, Vice. What are you doing? I'm so... Ah! Just do it! Strike the king and kill him! Oh my god. Come on. There we go. Oh god. Ice is dying on us. One. Oh, we didn't even take any damage from that. Holy hell. I have something to defend. I have a reason to live. You. Wipe. Complete decapitation. Right off the head. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Yari! The hide with the body! It's all gray and black and patchy with yellow lights. <laughs> Oh, 
Although, in that fight, it was red lights. That's how you know. They're serious. Well, ain't that precious. Huh. I'm happy for him. I'm gonna swallow you up, sunshine. Kind of with this soon. I kind of just here it comes. Honest? Well, hell, sunshine. It's not like I can stop it. When gestalts go out of control, they lose their minds. Both of our memories will be completely overridden. So Gestalt, I'm assuming, is the name for the vessels that we are. Damn it. We have to do something. Yeah, we kind of just have to survive. Whoop. Whoop. Oh. Actually, uh, let's do defense boost. Magic attacks. Boom. I rarely use this. Whoop. We made it this far because you were with us, Kane. I'm who I am today because of you. I'm not going to give up on you. Ah. I'm not going to abandon someone I love. I'm going to save you. I swear it. Yeah. yeah, that's lame. Like, it's barely even really a. This is barely even a boss fight. Well, of course, it worked. I said, listen! There's a way to save Kainate. Oh, God. All right. Oh, God. But you're gonna have to make a difficult decision. Do whatever it takes. When the time comes. Okay, Avengers. Whatever it takes. And as soon as I do. You need to stab him. Ah! No, I can't. Bye. Don't move. Stab him. Grab my thumb up your ass and watch him die in terror. Well, that sounds very entertaining. God damn. I wonder if I can counter any of her moves. Oh, buddy. Okay, this seems harder than it was yesterday. I don't know why. Oh my god, that was an accident. <laughs> I swung back and the back of my sword hit her. I didn't even know I could do damage behind me like that. If you want to save your precious Kaine, there are two ways to do it. One is to plunge your sword into her chest. That's what she wants after all. Freedom from burdens, freedom from life. What's the other way? The other way is to make her a normal human being again. But to make that happen, you gotta trade your own existence for hers. Well, there you go. Good luck with that. You're that shade. The one who lives inside Kaine. Why are you trying to help her? Probably for the same reason you are. Enough talk. Make your choice. Alright, here's the choice that's gonna dick us over, everyone. Oh, God. I would love to see someone's reaction to this. Doing this choice without knowing the consequences of it. There's got to be a video of that somewhere, and I need to find it. But it's a bold move, and I respect it. You'll disappear 
from this world. Your sister, your friends. Everyone in your life will forget you. You and any sign that you ever existed will be erased. But in exchange, Kaine will return to her mortal life. I wonder if that means when we do the E playthrough, since we're starting from the very beginning, does that mean, I don't know, will we even meet Kaine or will she just be like a regular person? Because that could be a possibility. Oh. Okay, so if you have multiple saves, but you're doing different playthroughs, if you name them something different, it will only erase the saves corresponding to that name. I'm guessing. Nani? Ah, oh, you dickbag, really? Let me guess all the words as well. The words will probably be the biggest pain to try to come back. Oh god. I'm thinking maybe next time we play it on easy instead of hard mode. Like, we've already beaten it. We've beaten it four times on hard mode, so let's do... Uh, the next one on easy, or uh, next one on normal. Just so we can make those opening levels a bit easier to get through. Is, yeah, it took a while when we first started as the kid. Are you alright? Yona? It was you. The one who helped me, I mean. Wasn't it? <sighs> Someone's gotta remember him. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're okay. I wonder if Yona becomes significant in the next game. What's wrong? Huh? I mean, you defeated the Shadow Lord and everything, but you... You don't look happy. I don't? This is a lunar tear. How pretty. <gasps> Are you crying? Yeah. 
I guess I am. It's like I just found something special. Something very special. Like I said, we're gonna sit through the credits just to see if there's any uh, end credit scene. Yeah, that's a thing that's kind of, like, it doesn't happen often, so I don't know if I can really call it a trope. But every so often you'll get, like, a game or a show, an anime or something that's like, oh, the main character has to, like, erase itself from existence. But then it's like all the characters inevitably just remember him again, and it's like, no. How about, don't do that. <laughs> because, yeah, it's supposed to be a happy ending, but at the same time... The dude sacrificed himself for a thing, and there's supposed to be this cost for it. But then people remember him anyway, so it's like, there was no cost! Well, yeah, his existence, but still, like, like his existence was the thing that's supposed to be given up, even the memories of him. And I don't know, it just feels like sometimes they cop out on it. They just have the people remember him, and then it's this whole quest of, we gotta get him back, or something. Shenanigans. I call shenanigans. But, uh, yeah, that was a pretty good ending. Probably my favorite one thus far. But yeah, well, the next playthrough will probably be almost as long as our uh, first playthrough for the A ending. Just because we have to start from the beginning, and I don't know how deep in it goes. I just know that once we get to the village of Eri, or I think the second time we visit there for the main story, things change, and I don't know what exactly that means. If it, like, our path of our main story diverges, or if it's just, like, subtle differences throughout, or what, but apparently from that point on, the playthrough is different. So, can't wait to see what that all be about. Okay, I'm looking it up now just to see if we did miss a uh, post-credit cutscene. It looks like the only post-credit cutscene is for... ...for B and maybe D. So yeah, the one where we see Emil's head seems to be the most popular one. Unless there's other... Which we will see! But uh, yeah, so next weekend we're going to be starting from the new save file, doing all that, see how that goes. Um, honestly, I don't even really remember. We, we've, we've done four playthroughs kind of through this, since we start from like the halfway point kind of. Or the three, obviously I remember the second half where we have to collect the stones super well. The early half with the brother was just like a lot of fetch quests that, well not fetch quests, side quests that we did. So I think it'll be fun uh, revisiting that half since we haven't really been able to play that part. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to put it on normal this time instead of hard. Uh, because we've already beaten it enough times on hard. Plus, uh, the opening... I feel like the opening was definitely more difficult because we had it on that difficulty. That level of difficulty and just 
the drastic amounts of changes that they make from hard mode to normal was a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be. So I just want to see, compare it, and see how that plays through. As well as when we inevitably beat it, we'll unlock the challenge dungeons, and I want to see how much more difficult it is, or if it's roughly the same difficulty level. But goddamn, getting one-shotted again! I'm so angry at myself. I should have fallen back. I thought I could have at least taken one hit. But it was my hubris. My hubris got me. And I got God for it, which that sucks, but... We live and learn. Next time, I'll get them. God damn it. Something very special. Thank you for playing. Oh, hey! Is that new? I don't recall that ever being there. Ooh, okay, let's go to options and let's put on a new outfit for the young version. Because by the time we unlocked all the outfits, we were our older self, so we never get to see what our younger self looks like. If it's literally the same outfits... Oh no, okay. Or if it's, uh... It's something different. Okay, well, we can't access wardrobe. I'm assuming it's because we don't have any save file. What? God damn. All right, that is it for today, everyone. Uh, like I said, next weekend we'll get started on our new, our new playthrough. I don't know if I have to use the same name. Start the new game. I will, regardless. But uh, who knows? Who knows? Um, and yeah, I don't know if. That was right, what I said earlier, where you put in your name, and then only the save files with that corresponding name get deleted. I don't know if that's an actual thing, or if it's literally all the slots get cleared. Because it looks like it would probably clear all the slots. That would suck if you were sharing this game with someone. But, uh, yeah, tomorrow we're going to be continuing Kingdom Hearts 3. We're going to be doing the... Uh, DLC, we already got through the Remind DLC, we only have the, uh, I can't remember what it's called. The extra episode, as well as the secret episode of the DLC, which, uh, we're not really gonna go through and do all the challenge rooms, we're just, we'll, like, we'll check out some of them, but, uh, we'll mainly just play through it. It might be a short stream, who knows, I can't really remember, um, what those bonus parts have, other than the challenge rooms. So, we'll see how long that takes. And then probably on Wednesday, if if we make it through all of it on Monday, on Wednesday we'll start Melody of Memory, which I'm super excited for. Uh, I have not played that yet, so that's going to be a blind playthrough. It's a rhythm game. I have no idea if there's any actual like story like that matters. I know there's like a recap kind of story happening in it, but I don't know if there's any actual progression of like Kyrie's character or anyone in there. I, I I feel like there probably won't be just because Kairi's supposed to be the main character and she constantly gets the shaft in that series, so it wouldn't surprise me if they're like, oh yeah, she's the main character for recapping the story and then having no story or character development or progression. Of course. <laughs> it's only been 20 years, Namora. But uh, <laughs> regardless, uh, on Tuesday we're going to be doing Genshin Impact. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, we're going to be playing a new mini game that's uh, come out. We're going to be doing that, as well as doing some leveling, and we're also going to be talking about the Genshin Impact live stream that happened, and uh, all the new information that we know about Inazuma, which is going to be the new area that's coming to Genshin Impact in the uh, 2.0 update. Which, I did not see a release date on the 2.0 patch, so I don't know if they're going to jump to the 2.0 for the next update, or if there's going to be, like, the three remaining patches in between are going to happen. Working our way up to there. Because right now we're on 1.6. I don't know if they're going to jump to 2.0. Or if they're going to do the small incremental updates. Like they have been monthly. But, uh, yeah, I'll look into it. And then on Tuesday I will let you guys know. 
But yeah, that is it for today, guys. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for coming out and hanging out. I really appreciate it if you could hit that follow button. It really helps me out. And thank you to everyone that hit that follow button today. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you want to see any of my past streams, they're all over on my YouTube channel, which there's a link down in the About section on my Twitch page below to that, as well as a link over to my Twitter, where I tweet out every day when I'm online and when I am playing. That is it for Near Replicants. Ending D, as well as stream day 313 of streaming in a row, non-stop, no breaks, except for when I'm not online, <laughs> but you know how many days I've streamed in a row. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for coming out and hanging out. I hope you guys had fun, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. If not, I will see you guys next weekend with more Near Replicants. Bye-bye! <laughs>